afternoon. It's almost five o'clock and it's Super Bowl. So I just wanted to come on and open this video because today is Super Bowl Sunday and we are not doing anything major, but I am going to cook for Super Bowl and we're just going to hang out around the house. So I thought that I would turn this into a video so you guys can see, you know, a little of us hanging out at the house and why not do it on Super Bowl? So I'm actually in a rush. It is like 4.45. UPS closes at 5 o'clock and I have something I had I have to return. I bought these gloves. I'll put them on the screen and show you what they look like. I bought these tactical gloves. Um, they're $24 a pair. I got extra large for my husband and I got large for myself. And mine are too big. His are snug, but he likes to fit and he's gonna keep them. But mine are too big. So I'm taking them back. Um, normally you get the credit within a couple of hours of dropping it at UPS when you use the return code. And um, then I'm gonna order uh, a medium. And I was in a rush to do it because I want them to come before I go back to work Wednesday. So. That's why I'm trying to make the UPS store. And then of course I'm gonna get some Dunkin' and then I'll go to Walmart and get the stuff that I need. And then I'm gonna make um, my dip on camera with you guys. I'm gonna do a buffalo chicken dip. So that's what we're doing today. I know this was a really long intro. Uh, get you some popcorn, uh, sit back and relax. You won't see this on Super Bowl but you will be able to see what we did for Super Bowl Sunday. So, hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you in a minute. It looks dark in there like it's closed already, but let's see, I'm gonna walk up to the door. Yeah, they already closed. So online it says five o'clock, but on here it says four, how convenient. Coles has returns too, but I'm not going that far. I'll just come back tomorrow when they open. I'm not going that far. It's like two exits down. And um, yeah, we're just not in the mood to do that today. So I'll, I'll bring it in the morning. Man. I have got to clean out my car this week. It don't taste like nothing is in it. I don't have nothing in it. It doesn't taste like it's got caramel in it or nothing. It's not sweet at all. It don't have nothing in it. You can just add. You, you sure? Thank you. Thank you, sweet baby. Appreciate it. I very, very rarely complain or go back into places with my orders, but that just didn't have nothing. This is my order. It didn't have anything in it. It just had coffee and cream. It didn't have anything in it. But that's good. This is what it's supposed to taste like. This is pretty. What kind of flower is that? This is pretty. I've got one of those. I bought a big one like this. I love those. Oh, this is pretty. All right, Christy, you're not buying flowers today. Spring is in the air. Spring is in the air, you guys. You can start seeing the colors. 
of the season by what they start putting out. I'm not buying another one of these because I bought one and I didn't use it. I'm going to work with what I got until I figure out that I need something else. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Another thing that I wouldn't use. I like this, though. How much is this? It was $5, you guys. You know I got to get it. But look, I wanted to show you this. So you remember we were just looking at the cups and bowls and stuff? And I said, you can tell what color is going to be the trend by what they start putting out. Look at this. Same color as the bowls, right? Yeah, going to be the spring colors of the year. Y'all get ready. Okay. They are out of the snapple that we like. That's just tea. We don't really do. Oh, they got watermelon lemonade. I'll get two of those. We're trying to stay away from um, sugar. So I'm not going to get any sodas. Mm. While I'm over here, I'm going to get the cheese. Sargento. Got to be Sargento. Okay. Let me get my recipe. Two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. Y'all, where is cream cheese? Okay. Fat free cream cheese. Philadelphia cream cheese. Two eight ounce. What size is this? Eight ounces. So we need two of these. Sargento. Four cheese Mexican. I came down to Chip Aisle to get the Tostitos for the chicken dip and all of the Tostitos. All of the game type chips are gone. Look at this. Just aisles of chips. Gotta get somebody to get them for him. <laughs> I was like, when he get them, if he get them, he gonna have to get them for me. Thank right you, darling. <laughs> Man, okay, I'm here on the chicken aisle. It's the Valley Fresh 100% natural chicken breast. And we need two 10 ounce cans. So, who size is this? Boom. 10 ounce can. White and dark. We'll get two of those. If this is good, I'll make it more often, you guys. Now, let's go get this salad dressing. We just need one cup, but we out of red. So, I'm going to get this. And, of course, all the wing sauce. Oh, creamy ranch buffalo. That sounds good. I should have went live, but my first thought is that, well, my first thought is to go live, but then my second thought is everybody's enjoying their families, getting ready for Super Bowl, and nobody will be on. So I'm just going to make a video, and I've got to do a better job at planning the live so you guys know when I'm going to be on because I do have 
a special guest that I'm going to be inviting to a live. So I'm going to get with her and we're going to plan a day to be live. And um, I also want to have a day for a Zoom call where we all can get on and talk. So we'll see how that goes as far as time is concerned. It's a uh, where as far as time is concerned. Now, I told you guys my schedule was changing. The schedule that I thought I would have, I may have momentarily, but everybody's schedule is changing soon. So I don't know how long I'm, if I'll even get to be on that schedule before schedules change. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, can't, I should have got two of these. $5 for this cutting board. I love it. I may go back and get another one. So when this one gets worn, I'll have a backup. But I love these. The red is for meat. Yellow is for poultry. So that's red meat. Poultry. Fish. Veggies. I love it. I'm going to use it. Okay, family, so the first thing you want to use is two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. Now, it doesn't have to be the Philadelphia cream cheese. It could be whatever cream cheese you like, but you need two eight ounce packages. You're going to need a cup of ranch dressing. I use Hidden Valley. You're welcome to use whatever kind of dressing you like, just as long as you use one cup of ranch dressing. So here I am making sure that I get all that I can because I'm going to use the same cup and I'm going to do three, four cups of buffalo sauce. Now this is a buffalo and ranch sauce. It was really light and creamy. I didn't do, a, I was looking for the regular buffalo, but I'm glad I got the ranch and buffalo because I can't do too spicy. And this was perfect. Now you're going to need a cup and a half of shredded cheese. You, you guys know the deal with cheese. It doesn't have to be a cup and a half. It could be two cups. It could be three cups. It could be however much cheese you wanted. I used two cups of cheese myself. And, I, you know, it was good, but I could have went cheesier. I really could have went cheesier. So the next thing you want to do is mix it well. Make sure you get all the cream cheese lumps out. I use this straight from the store, but my suggestion to you is to let it sit and soften really, really good so that it gets totally creamy and you don't have any cream cheese lumps. chicken the recipe actually says to gradually add your chicken but you see me i dumped it in and stirred it up real good so give it a good stir you guys add it in the way you like i told you what the recipe said i told you how i did it we made it happen my biggest regret was i probably would have added another can or two of chicken uh next time i make this this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a little more chicken and a little more cheese just to tweak it don't get me wrong this was good it was really good my husband ate off it off of it about three times i ate twice and we still have a lot left um but this was really really good um i'm glad that i decided to try it and i know now 
how I'm going to tweak it for the next time. So once you get it stirred up in your glass bowl, you want to uh, spoon it into the gas casserole dish that you are going to cook it and serve it in. Uh, you want to spoon it in and then spread it out uh, and uh, make it cute before you put it in the oven. Once you've got it spooned in and spread out, keep in mind that you've turned your oven on to 400 before you start it, so it's preheated already. Once you've spooned in uh, to the casserole dish that dip, you can go ahead and put it in the oven. You want to bake it on 20 minutes until it's hot and bubbly. Now that your dip is in the oven, you have time to go ahead and start on your chicken. I went ahead and cleaned uh, those drumettes. Uh, once I cleaned them, I put them back in some cold water with some white vinegar. I let them soak. It doesn't have to soak long. I just want to make sure that they're clean. And so I always add a little white vinegar, let them soak for a few minutes. Uh, and then I go ahead and rinse them one last time and pat them dry. Now, I, I sped through this, you guys, because you've seen me do it a million times, right? How I clean my chicken and also how I season my chicken. But I just want to reiterate that you, if you're putting it in the air fryer, you want to pat it dry before you season it. Go ahead, add your garlic powder, onion powder, Creole season, and paprika for color. My cousin Adam plays for the Patriots. So after I put these in the fryer, I took a moment to take a pic with the shirt I'm wearing. This is the back with his name and number. And then I called him on FaceTime to say hello before the game. All right, it cooked for about 20 minutes. It said cook till it's hot and bubbly. And that's what it's doing. So we're going to let it cool a little bit while the wings cook. And then we're going to test it out. I thought I would, instead of just having the same kind of wings, I left a, a few plain. Now, I cooked 15 at a time. So that's five plain in that dish. And then I took some of that uh, ranch and buffalo sauce. And I'm shaking that on five more wings. And then the last five wings, I'm going to put in a separate bowl and I'm going to shake on some lemon pepper. Now I've cooked and I do like it like this. I've air fried it with the lemon pepper seasoning, but you have to be careful with that because it, they could burn or the tips could get really dark. So this time I made them plain and then I just shook on the lemon pepper and uh, gave it a good stir in the lemon pepper seasoning. And I did them 15 at a time because that's all the air fryer would hold comfortably. I mean, I have put a lot more in there and they were on top of each other and they cooked just fine. But I didn't want anything. I didn't want them to not be cooked well or to burn. I'm just trying to keep it cute for my husband for the Super Bowl because we weren't able to have a Super Bowl party and invite folks over. He did think about inviting a few folks, but just for the sake of being safe, we decided to just be home and enjoy each other. So this is what we got. Um, nothing fancy. We got some buffalo, buffalo chicken dip, got some wings, got some more cooking. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. I just wanted to share the things that I'm cooking for the Super Bowl. I hope you enjoy yours and have a great night. Talk to you well, soon. Me and my huh? Say hello to the people. Hello, people. What you eating over there? Super Bowl. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Don't look at those clothes. I'm getting ready to fold them. <laughs> y'all know trying to get him to act like it's like pulling teeth. Look at this photo shoot, y'all. It's like a little child. He's so crazy. But thanks for watching.